Formula Rasa might have claimed the fastest coaster title from King Ka, but that doesn't make this Six Flags mega attraction any less crazy or menacing. If the most thrilling part of a roller coaster is the height you scale before dropping down at mock speed, then King Ka might just be calling your name. Since 2005, King Ka has held the crown of world's tallest roller coaster. It reaches a seemingly impossible height of 456 feet before dropping you 418 feet at a nearly 90 degree angle. Remember, this ride can reach speeds of up to 128 miles per hour and can do so in roughly three and a half seconds. It may not be the fastest coaster ever, but its speed plus the insane height should be quite enough to make you glad you hit the bathroom before taking this ride. Perhaps because of the extremes this coaster puts its riders through, it's not a long ride at all. From launch to stop, you're on the coaster for only 28 seconds. But in those 28 seconds, you're subjected to that rapid-fire launch, the record-setting rise, a 270-degree spiral, and then another 129-foot rise that actually makes you weightless for a second. Immediately thereafter, the brakes hit and the ride is over. Free run or not, you'd be hard-pressed to find anyone walking away from the Kai disappointed. Some roller coasters are tall. Are fast. The Smiler, a United Kingdom coaster, earned its insane reputation another way. It features more rolls and loops than any other coaster in the world. Built in 2013, the Smiler immediately garnered attention for its 14 inversions, a record that no coaster has topped since. The first inversion happens before you begin your ascent, meaning the second your car moves, you're already upside down. After a series of inversions, the train stops, and you're sent up yet another set of brake tracks for a second ascent. After a 90 degree drop, you'll begin the second half of the ride, which features even crazier loops than the last. Near the very end, you're barrel rolling 360 degrees several times over, leaving no time to do anything but scream before the ride finally comes to a complete stop. The Smiler also features several gimmicks it calls mind manipulations. It makes it appear that the ride is spraying with mopping gas, another assorted chemicals designed to put a smile on your face the ride's name. That may not be necessary, as your stomach's incessant tickling from going upside down and all around so many times in just a couple of minutes will make you smile no matter what gas is all the towers pretends to throw your way. Full throttle reaches a height of 160 feet. While that may not sound impressive when compared to other coasters that send you over 450 feet in the air, you may change your tune when you learn that you're upside down at that height. Yes, Full Throttle features a 160-foot high vertical loop, which is crazy to imagine, much less experience. You experience that insane loop almost immediately, as Full Throttle launches you from 0 to 70 miles per hour within a second or so. From there, you find yourself zooming upward until you're upside down, 160 feet up. After a few more inversions, the ride suddenly stops, but you're not done yet, as you now get to experience everything again only in reverse. So not only will you be upside down 160 feet high, you'll be that way twice. After that, the ride ends for real, less than a minute after it began. Not surprisingly, Full Throttle set the record for tallest vertical loop upon its launch in 2013. In 2016, though, a Chinese coaster called Flash debut, also featuring a 160 foot loop. But if you're a North American adrenaline junkie, you still can't go wrong with visiting the co champion in California. bummer after spending 45 minutes in line. If that's the case, then head on over to Japan, where the Steel Dragon 2000 coaster is ready to spend lots of quality time with your screaming self. The Dragon is the world's longest coaster by far. It features a whopping 8,133 feet of track. By comparison, King Ka is only 3,118 feet long, and Gravity Max measures a mere 1,863 feet. With that much terrain to cover, Steel Dragon is a lengthy ride indeed. From launch to stop, you're in that train for close to four minutes. Steel Dragon 2000 reaches a height of 318 feet before dropping you 307 feet below. It can reach speeds of up to 95 miles per hour and immerses you in pitch blackness several times over. There's no inversions or crazy loops, but the sheer amount of coaster you get more than makes up for that. So if you're ever in Japan and have five minutes to kill, there's a dragon who's anxious to meet you. Earlier I mentioned how Full Throttle has the tallest vertical loop in North America, and perhaps the world, while Gatekeeper in Ohio has its own height record to brag about. At 170 feet high, this coaster boasts the tallest inversion of any kind in the world. Gatekeeper features six inversions, the craziest being the wing overdrop. After climbing 170 feet at the start of the ride, the track rotates a full 180 degrees, sending you careening 164 feet upside down. The ride doesn't let up after that, inverting several times over. This includes multiple occasions where it looks like you're about to hit a wall, only for your train to suddenly invert and send you through a narrow space called a keyhole, saving you from certain doom. The train's design is just plain neat, too. 
No rider actually sits above or below the track. Rather, you're stationed on the train's wings, adding to the danger of rolling that high up, as well as passing through those narrow keyholes. But like all the other coasters I've mentioned, you're never in any real danger on the gatekeeper. Most likely, however, you'll be too busy screaming to remember that. <laughs>